ordering fractions. Put these fractions in order of size from smallest to largest. Well, this is one of those things in maths that you think would be really easy, but actually it takes a fair bit of work to get it right. So, sorry about that. And the reason it's hard to compare the size of these fractions is because all these numbers on the bottom are different. So what you need to do is to put all the fractions over a common denominator. That's the same number on the bottom. And then they'll be easy to compare. Now, the common denominator will be the lowest common multiple of all these numbers on the bottom. Now, what's the lowest common multiple? Well, we've got a lovely video on multiples if you want to have a look at that. But basically, it's the lowest number that all of these numbers will go into. And in this case, it's 24. 24 is in the times tables of all these numbers. So we need to convert these fractions into 24ths. So let's start with 3 quarters. How many 24ths is that? Well, this is about equivalent fractions. And with equivalent fractions, you need to make sure that whatever happens to the bottom happens to the top. So on the bottom, we've times by 6. So that's exactly what we need to do to the top. And 3 times 6 is 18. So these two fractions are equivalent. 3 quarters is exactly the same as 18 24ths. OK, next one. To get from 8 to 24, you times by 3. So we do the same thing to the top. 5 times 3 is 15. Next one, from 3 to 24, you times by 8. 2 times 8 is 16. From 6 to 24, you times by 4. And 5 times 4 is 20. OK, so we've got a list of fractions now with the same number on the bottom. So we can compare the size of these by just comparing the numbers on the top. So 15 24 must be the smallest one. So the smallest one of these fractions must be 5 eighths. So 5 eighths is our smallest one, so we can write that down. The next smallest is going to be 16 24 which is 2 thirds. Then 18 24 3 quarters. And then the biggest fraction is 20 24 which is 5 sixths. So there they are, all nicely in order. OK, another example. It's exactly the same thing we have to do. We have to find a common denominator, which is the smallest number that all of these will go into. And that is 20. Right, now to get from 4 to 20, what do we do? We times by 5. So we do the same thing to the top. 1 times 5 is 5. To get from 10 to 20, you times by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. From 5 to 20, you times by 4. So that gives us 8. And then from 20 to 20, well, that just stays as it is. So 3 can stay as it is. Now we can compare the size of these easily. The smallest one is this one. So the smallest one of these must be this one. So 3 twentieths. The next smallest is this one, 2 tenths. Next smallest, 5 twentieths, which is a quarter. And then 8 twentieths, which is 2 fifths. So a quick summary then for ordering fractions. First of all, you find a common denominator. And then for each fraction, you need to make sure you do the same to the top as to the bottom. And then you can order the fractions by the size of the tops of the new fractions. So ordering fractions, a bit of a palaver, but not too bad really.